if this message has made it to you, this is the reminder you've been looking for, to go all in. And I get that all in looks different for everyone, but if you're not all in, let's first ignore why you haven't gone all in yet, and let's play the quick reflection game, because truth is, you don't have to be held hostage by your current circumstances. You don't have to be a victim of your past events, and you don't have to be so conflicted with your daily thoughts. So it's less, why haven't you? But if, if you don't go all in right now, where does that leave you? What are your current habits? What are your current disciplines? What is your, your current routine? Because we all have a habitual routine. That's, that's just the science of living. And if that's true, then the math says you are actually already all in. But in on what? Are you all in on, on distractions? Doom scrolling your life away every downtime chance you get? Are you, are you all in on comfort that averageness provides? Or are you all in on, on procrastination? You're all in somehow, but let's be real on what and what it is right now. And allow this right now, this version of yourself, to be your forever moment. That nothing changes if nothing changes. And if you don't go all in on the vision and version that you see for yourself, and you just, you just threw in your cards, tell me that you don't know that this equals a life of regret. So what's stopping you? If you're like me, some of it is overthinking. Some of it is lack, lack, lack of confidence. Some of it is absolute fear of failing. And these emotions, these emotions are real. And truthfully, from what I've learned, they'll never subside. In fact, the longer you procrastinate, the longer the stories of why not will grow and limit you. So if you're looking for, for, for the right time, that's easy. Now, if you're looking for where to start, that's easy too. The starting point is wherever you are right now. If you don't have the specifics, that's fine too. You can actually begin with addition by subtraction. Delete social media apps. Get up earlier. Go to sleep earlier. And schedule time to just sit with yourself. And commit to not moving until you have at least one goal you are going to immediately and intensely commit to start working on. And here's why I truly believe you should go all in. Firstly, you absolutely deserve it. And the dreams and goals you have for yourself, that leads to a path of, of liberation. It's the ultimate freedom play. It's, it's the empowerment of self through ownership and accountability. It, it, it comes down to you versus you and the ultimate mirror moment. And what should you truly be seeking? For me, it's pride, integrity, dignity, discipline, determination, willpower, self-worth, and love. It's doing what you said you would do. And all of that requires the highest level of faith, which then gives birth to belief. And if you're as lucky as me, you connect deeper with God. What a possibility, right? That's going all in. It opens you up to establishing your own unique relationship that you choose to have with God, who then becomes your anchor, your rock, and your light. All in is fully faithful because how else would you be able to rise when you inevitably fall again. Speaking of which, imposter syndrome is powerful. And you'll feel like you're faking courage and confidence because those traits truly are built. You don't have the courage until you display courage. And you won't have the confidence until you're all in and take the risk. Like right now, I'm shot. I'm tired. And I'm tired because I've tried recording this video 77 times. And each time I stop, it created more doubt, more insecurity. See? I told you so, you're not good enough, no one's going to listen, because it creates more failure. But since I'm all in, I know that one successful video, one successful completion and upload, and the 77 times I messed up, becomes a character builder, not a character killer. That's the difference between all in and all out. There's no true secret sauce. All in is simply an effort play. And here's the last thing I will offer on, on why I truly believe all in is the only way. All in on many levels is intelligent selfishness because you learn to say no to all that doesn't serve you. No excuses. Not for me. <laughs> Moving on. And that applies to, to, to all people, places, and things. Now guess what happens? Your emotional game raises to an all-time high because as you are feeling high on yourself, high on your confidence, and high on your progress, 
the people you truly owe this to will shine with you. So if you're like me, all it means you become a better partner to your husband or to your wife. You become a better father to your children, assuming you have them. You become a mentor to those friends, family, and community members you choose to have in your life because your energy vibration is on a thousand. You become a symbol of possibilities to everyone who is seeking the confirmation to go all in for themselves. And let me, co- let me, let me close with this. Going all in is a mindset. It's a mindset to self-commitment, self-empowerment, and self-mastery. Not to be ignored as a light task, not to be a dis- d- d- dismissed as a sometimes event. Going all in is the decision that you will no longer be docile. If you are in control, only you are to blame. That's for the good and the bad that comes with it. So free yourself for yourself. Until next time, I am who I say I am. Change your mind, change your life. Stay rich.